Hi, this is Richard, and I'm back to give you an updated demo of certifications, which were updated in July of 2013 in My Oracle Support. Certifications is one of the tabs. It's here. So we'll go to the Certifications tab. And at the top, you'll see the recent updates to certify. For example, we're comparing multiple releases and platforms for a single product in what we call a matrix view. That's a new feature I'll be demoing in this video in a few minutes. Product downloads are also available from their individual certification pages. Again, I'll show you that. We've got some support date layouts that have been improved. And certification system, of course, continually has new data being added to it on a regular basis. And that shows up in this updated section here. So I'm going to close this region because we won't really need it anymore. And we're going to get right into doing some searches. So first of all, I'd like to search for something that we used to not have in our environment, which was Golden Gate. And <clears throat> Golden Gate now is available. And as you can see here, I just typed in Golden, and it's found a variety of results. So you can see here we've added certain products. Now, if I search for a product that I don't have in my environment, and as of right now, I don't have right now in there, you'll see that it's giving me an error. Now, we do track these failed searches, and we get this information to those teams so that we can include their product information in certification search. And if it's not available, maybe it would show up here in the quick links area. And there is some FAQs, and we keep track in our blog on all the new things that we've added to certification each month. But what I'd like to focus on now is some actual searches. So first thing I'm going to do is search for eBusiness Suite. So my company's been thinking about upgrading eBusiness Suite, but I really want to know if I upgrade to EBS 12.1.2, can I still use Oracle Database 11.1.6? Now, what I'll do here is I'll do the search, and I'll just type in EBS. EBS is an alias or a shortcut for eBusiness Suite. So I didn't need to type in the whole thing. And I'll choose the 12.1.2 release. And right away, um, instead of choosing platform or getting more detail, I'll just go ahead and do a really simple search. And let's take a look at the results. Now, what I'm really interested in for my search, and let's collapse this to give you some more room, is database. So looking directly down at the database row, I see that there's eight releases available. Now, what I was interested in was 11.106. And I'll go to 11.106, and I'll drill down. And I see that there's a variety of platforms supported for 11.106. Now, I'm specifically interested in Linux 86.64. And here's my SLS 10. And right away, I can see that it's certified. But let's drill down for more details. So clearly, we can see Oracle eBusiness Suite is certified with Oracle Database 11.16 on this Linux platform. It gives me some node information, which you see here is collapsed. I'll expand it. So this is a good place to go for generic certification information. But also, you'll notice I have some required patches, which are made available to me directly. So I can download the required patches. And these need to be applied to the for the certification to, become, to be valid. Now, underneath here in the support information, you'll see a, a cleaner layout for the support dates if you've used this in the past. And you'll notice that eBusiness Suite uh, still has more than a year of Premier support at the time that I'm recording this video. And I have some time left before eBusiness patches are no longer available. But Oracle Database 11.1.6 already is in a situation where no new patches are being created because error correction has already ended. So what do I really want to do? Would I really want to recommend to my organization to stay with 11.1.06? Maybe I should consider an upgrade. So what I'm going to do is go back to the search and in this case, I can just click back if I'd like, or I could use the back button. And I can see that I have some other choices for the Oracle database. So what if I bumped up to, say, 11.107? That would be the terminal release. Okay. And in this case, I'm, I'm going to stick with the same platform because I'm pretty comfortable with it. And I'll go down to SLS 10. I see it is certified. And I also see that uh, the ongoing support that I still have more than two years of patching available. So I'm not really worried about patching. So 11.107 sounds sort of interesting uh, as a choice, but you can see here I still have a variety of required patches in order to maintain certification. What if I went to the latest and greatest? So let's just go back and take one more look up here. So <clears throat> Oracle Database, latest and greatest, 11.203, so that's 10. 
and we can see here a little cleaner certification there's no required patches uh, clearly I have a much longer timeline for premier support um, I'm not in a situation yet that error correction has even started so that could be a good choice and <clears throat> So this looks like a really interesting option for me to go to Oracle Database 11.203 on Celeste 10. And if I'm interested, I could download the software right here, which is a sign of a nice new feature. Now, in this example, my search for EBS in Oracle Database provided me some certification details, showed me access to patches or required patches, showed me uh, support information, support dates, and even downloading of the software. Let's go back and look at the results in more detail, though. So if I look more carefully at the results for all of Oracle Database 12.1.2, I can see a lot of other interesting information. For example, what browsers are supported. Or, for example, I could see what virtualization environments I can run my eBusiness suite on. And if I wanted to come back to this search later, I have it available to me on the Recent tab. So you can see here, this is the search I just did. And if I want to come back tomorrow, I can rerun the search. Or even if I wanted to, I could copy the URL and share that with somebody. Now let's think about a different kind of search. What if my company wanted to focus on the certification status of every recent release of the Oracle database? And maybe compare options across platforms. So let's go back to search. Notice this check mark. It says compare releases and platform. That's the matrix view we were talking about at the beginning of the call. Now once I check that, Let's drop the list down, and here you can see my most recently used list, so it already has Oracle Database. So let's just grab that from the most recently used list. And you can see now it's enabled multi-selective releases. So let's look at all those most recent releases, including, say, the terminal release even back to 10.205. And from a platform perspective, that's also multi-select. And so, you know, I have, I discussed that I'm on Linux 86, Celeste so 10 and 11 but also I'm interested in knowing more about Oracle Solaris 10 and 11. So let's look at that. So now that I press search, I see my results in what's called a matrix view. I see many releases are certified with certain platforms, while some others don't have records, which means that Oracle is not guaranteed yet that it would be certified, and maybe it never will. So if I hover over one of these records, clearly it's gonna identify, for example, in this case, Oracle Database 11.107 is certified on Linux 86 less 10. So right away I know what's going on. And if I click it, you're going to see the certification detail page just like the page we saw earlier. Now at the bottom here, for example, let's go back one more. 11.107. Let's look at 11.201. That was the one we looked at earlier. So 11.201, scroll to the bottom, let's see. Yeah, so we have the Oracle database software. And you see here we can select the software and download the, download the software right from here. Now what this is actually doing is it's getting me the list of all the software I actually need in order to um, deploy this software. Now in this case, I need to accept a license agreement. And now it enables the links to be downloaded. And if I need to, I can download the files directly from here or I can use the wget script to download this directly to my server. So let's go back. And I continue doing some research here. So not only could I directly drill down here, I could in fact drill down on the product itself. So in this case, I could look at 11.203, and I see a very similar view to what I had before, the non-matrix view. And all these queries can be found in the recent searches. Or in fact, if I went to any trouble to save a search, it'll be in my save search list. So this is how I can collect up information and maybe send an email to someone saying, yeah, we understand our options now for upgrade. So you can copy these certifications, or even when you're down in a specific certification, you can drill down into it and then you have a printable view, which of course you can do something like uh, create the printable view and do a PDF of it and so on and so forth. So hopefully this gives you some idea of the searching that you can do, the basic searching you can do in certification. Now if you find something missing, we very much encourage you to give feedback. We do, the development team, the certification team reads every feedback we get. 
So maybe there's a product that you're not finding or some information that's not available, or maybe just search was confusing for you. Please do send us feedback, and hopefully we'll be able to help you out. That's the introduction to the new certification search that was made available in July 2013 in MyArchosupport. I hope this helps. Thanks so much.